Hi Aquarius, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Aquarius. Okay, welcome to space. I had a nice fancy outfit on, but then it, it got kind of cold, like really cold, and I had to bundle up, so I hope you don't mind if we just chill out. Do you like to, do you take this time, or, what is it? Do you take this time seriously? Aquarius, so everyone else uh, thus far used the Primordial Tarot, and I did choose one for you, but I figured we'd do something a little bit different uh, because, well, you represent being unique, right? Were you breastfed? <laughs> What's the first memory? Uh, What's the first memory you have of being, uh, like a positive memory that you have of being a child? Uh, how good are you feeling about, well, who you are right now? Like, how do you feel about that? Maybe about your body or just about love? Uh, I guess you could also have a few, one or two questions about, um, well, there's, okay, so there's two creative questions. What are those? Let's see. Just a second. Oh, top. Okay. Creative. There's to, I guess this is means of looking at a situation in this time creatively. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. I heard if you just try to think your way out of something, maybe some of you don't want to think about something. Oh, interesting. Just a minute. How responsible are you being right now? How much fun are you having right now? Um... keeps going back to this two of swords <clears throat> oh I see this two of swords what is this about maybe you want to just look at that card for a second for those of you who cannot see it's a person sitting on a concrete seat with a concrete floor by the sea, not facing the sea though, right? The back to the water. Um, they're holding two huge, heavy swords, right? Bigger than themselves, blindfolded, trying to keep it together, right? It's a waxing moon in the daytime. That's rare. So I guess there's some kind of decision or choice <clears throat> that has to do with who you are, your skill set, your self-esteem, or what you value how you value yourself, how you value the situation. Well, I heard that determines your relationship with others. Now, there may be something that is hard, right? But it's necessary. And there's something about... <clears throat> 
a benefit via a sacrifice. Now, because you represent freedom and individuality, if you will, although this does bring isolation, right? All outcasts want to be accepted. That's why they hang out with other outcasts, right? Everybody has their groups, if you will. That's why we call ourselves a group of humans, right? Most humans are very uncomfortable being alone. Um, when they can only feel what they feel, right? Because then there's like a, a clearer conversation with one's heart, which I actually feel like is in a positive place, but there is something underlying here <clears throat> that maybe, again, I see, um, I mean, I guess you could be working right to left, <clears throat> Maybe that's kind of the thing is, uh, usually again, this card is about finding the feeling in something, right? Like balancing a feeling, having a feeling be settled so that one can figure out how to approach it logically, right? Swords. But it, if you're working from right to left, this would almost be like where there's an action without having um, it's like where you have to take the feeling part out of it and be really practical about something. And I guess if you, sorry, I'm trying to figure out, to explain what I'm seeing. Um, Well, I guess, what are, what are the obstacles that you're making for yourself? What are the obstacles in your path right now? Uh, they're more mental, though. Because you actually have the... When I, when I asked about the creative questions, you ended up with the eight and the ten of swords. This is like a, a, this is like a wall in your mind about something. What are you, what are you stuck about mentally? I also could see that, and it's so, this is such a, I'm feeling such a dual energy. I just get um, frustrated in my body. Just a second. Well, maybe you're second-guessing yourself. Or whatever the really serious thing is, it's kind of being put aside. Where is it that you're smiling? Um, where you used to be sad. Where you used to be frowning. Where are you smiling now? What are those things? situations <clears throat> and where is it that um well what are you looking forward to now aquarius Also, this is learning lessons from the past too, right? Uh, there's a lot of knowledge that comes with the suffering of the Eight and the Ten of Swords, right? If you know this has something to do with your sixth house, fourth, sixth house, I guess this is also karma with family too. Um... This is also karma with um, Leo, Aries, Scorpio.
You're figuring out the Leo in you, though, too, which is kind of cool. The most positive card here and major, the only major for you, Aquarius, is the sun, which to some, this would be Leo, your opposite. So what are you trying to accomplish between now and August? I want you to really think about that. And it, it could be helpful to, it's not, this isn't, I'm not seeing as necessarily focusing on your weaknesses. But if you want to be big kahuna, right, that was in your yearly reading, big kahuna, right? Or there were bare branches, which is about winter. So, and now is winter technically, right? What were you doing last winter? What was the plan last winter? What did you learn from your father? What was the last uh, death in your family? That you experienced? I know this is a birthday reading, but it's Opal Oracle. I can't shift the... It's not nice to sugarcoat things, to pretend, right? It's not cool to pretend. It's a lie. I mean, there's a time and a place maturely, right, to handle things. A profession, I heard... Per, per, what was the word? Perfectly poised. What do you do <clears throat> to make yourself feel better that's just like a, a, a band-aid on a gaping wound? <laughs> What's the thing that you do? King of, King of Swords, that might be a good question. Um, I heard, who, who's in charge of you? Oh, and I just got tingles all the way down my spine that made, and then all the way down my legs made it very, okay. Yeah, who's in charge of you? <laughs> who's the leader of, um, like if your, if your tribe <clears throat> was, um, your tribe, right, Aquarius? Who's the leader of that tribe? Who, who's second in charge? Who's third in charge? Go down the line. It's important to know where people are. Right? So they can know what they need to do. That's how it works together appropriately, right? Is people knowing, like... Well, I heard what's real or not. Yeah. Because otherwise it makes it confusing, right? You have to cut an emotional tie from the past, or you might have you might have done this. For some of you, it's already happened, and then you've moved into a new space that feels better, or it's something that has to happen. Uh, maybe it's part of that too. A lot I heard a lot of you may need to decide this has something to do with your second eighth house axis. We're also talking about you um, again, what you value. what you do with your money and like what you do, what you're doing with your resources and realizing that there's something here without, what are all these? Oh, I see. Sun. All right. We're coming back around. Good. Let's see what these, this, how, instead of what these swords are about, although they need to be processed, 
Although I feel like you must have thought about something for so long to be able to have all these swords. You know what I mean? And now it's like, okay, it's time to take an action. Right? There's also the two, this is the two of swords and, and this other deck too. With the card of creativity. Okay, just a minute. I heard you know what you have to do. Just a minute. Well, this is a strong card. Um, <clears throat> well, it's basically about survival. This card is about survival. I saw the words trauma signature. Like, uh, maybe some, What what is it that triggers you emotionally that causes you to be like, what causes you to be, and then I saw the word family. Um, That motorcycle almost sounded like a wolf. Excuse me. Okay, this card, it says, it's about a quarrel with a high cost and the results of a disagreement, uncontrolled and inappropriate aggression. Right? It can represent also crisis situations. Didn't we just say that? But this is more of... <clears throat> having that we asked about the swords right so what is your defense mechanisms like what or what is your defense when do all your walls come up and you know what the, i guess the thing is is whatever it is that when there's something that needs to be done physically right but but there's and like you know right again you've already thought about this for a really long time and i see you have a lot of support in i see making the right choice about something uh, but what is the thing where when that your stubborn mindset comes in and you just like pulp yourself, it's like super cold. Well, what is it that makes it do that? <clears throat> let's read this card this is the father or the man of nature it's a beautiful card it says from a place of serene calmness this paternal figure observes us with awareness and concern he is strong and confident but has empathy to see when others are in need. He doesn't judge or think less of others who may not have his strength or abilities. Instead, he wonders how he can help. <clears throat> his keen intellect and experience allow him to see situations clearly, to assess what might be wrong, and to determine effective ways to help. This is a wonderful quality because sometimes those in distress are not able to see things see those things for themselves his very presence is reassuring and the help that he offers can make all the difference this card is very much about also allowing others to help you like accepting help but this would also be knowing what you need because you have a plan and there are steps within it right this also represents being protected so perhaps whatever the triggery point is that causes the wall to come up or the coldness to happen or the shutdown of wanting to be so unique in in thinking differently about a situation you know <clears throat> 
because really um, you could probably feel fine in a certain way, right? Flow with that. But the, <clears throat> the mental space is how you change, right? What do they say? Change your mind to change your world. And I do feel like <clears throat> the trigger comes from others. Um, I can't really see where exactly. It's definitely, there's some family in here and then there's past. I also see romantic energy too. Let's put these cards away. Uh, I see Cancer has a message for you. This could be your moon. For some of you, if you want to go there. <clears throat> Aquarius. What's on the other end of the rainbow? To you. What do you think that is? What do you think, what do you want that to be? The other end of the rainbow. Um, something's asking you to let go or to pay attention to, to what you're giving to. And I guess this is also learning to feel safer in you. And therefore the choices that you make. Son. I guess this is also being a good parent to your inner self. You know what I mean? Which is basically just being responsible as if you had a child at your side at all points in time. Do you know what I mean? Just a minute. <clears throat> Hold on a second. What are you eating right now? <clears throat> Like, how, how's, because I guess right now you're meant to think differently about who you are, this, the courage or the strength in your heart and the belief of you and, well, I saw the word survival, do you know what I mean? Like, um. You're meant to kind of shift. You want to have different conversations here. You know, maybe you defined yourself, for instance, a, a, a certain way or with certain words because of certain people or places in these times in your life. Even recently, you know, the last three, four years, whatever, year. It, 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 you're supposed to have a different, I want you to be, use that Aquarian energy and to have a different open conversation about that. I could also see that there could be other people in your life, although I see this more, well, they're air energy, so the, the information is, is only curious, um, but also has, it's curious and it has a purpose behind it. Um, What do you need to let go of? Right? What, um... What fight do you keep having with yourself over and over and over again? That was so tingly, holy. What is it? 
the Hierophant and the Four of Cups. Interesting combination. Well, I guess this is about learning yeses and noes. Um, and, and it's sort of like I heard, I saw the words where, where one receives their information from. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Right, because I guess if there's a situation, whatever's being worked through here, although I do see that there's still like positivity, this is just you strengthening yourself, right? So you can recognize your own strength, uh, especially your strength in being able to change and be. More open about or <clears throat> keep seeing someone you know the game when you're a kid where you you put the string in between the buttons and you you t whip it up and then you pull and then it's like zoo, 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 zoo. that's what i keep seeing zoo, zoo, zoo. What's on the other end of the rainbow? <laughs> Emperor. Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the Devil. Well, that end of the rainbow is not so hot. Is that what you're thinking something's going to be? Well, what's on the other side of the rainbow then? If one side's that, okay, fine. If one side is that, all right, what, what's, what's on the other side? Two of cups, awesome, what else? Oh, high priestess, Zinga. Well, I guess support, emotional understanding, um, intimacy, connection, similar, similar morals and values in life, right? Like, I heard people doing what they need to do without being told what to do. And I heard still being an individual And, but using that as a connective property to oneself instead of a separation from others, right? Scorpio's at the end of the rainbow? What does that mean? I guess that's a big, huge, soulful shift. Maybe you're coming to some new part of yourself and it's kind of like... Well, I heard you're walking the tight rope. <laughs> you're walking the tight rope. <clears throat> lovers um and maybe making a decision maybe you want to sit on that you know um because i also feel like this is a little bit too much in your own like up in your head <clears throat> so how, how do you how do you uh quiet your mind yeah 
for a minute. How do you quiet your mind? I know when it's quiet and you're actually just with yourself, you know, sometimes Well, darkness can creep in, right? Is that why people stay active all the time? Or sedated in some way, you know what I mean? Distracting ourselves from ourselves. But I guess when we do that, then we feel separate from everyone else, right? When we're not comfortable in our own skin and it makes it hard and, and life can be so distracting. So what are you distracted by right now? And what do you need to maybe like make better boundaries with certain things or have um because I heard it's go time. It's go time. <clears throat> but you need to sort of um You need to make a boundary or like, again, something time management, right? That was one of your things, time management. And then it's like, you kind of have to actually, this will make you feel confused when you're in that quiet place. But what ends up happening is you stabilize yourself and you recognize like where your strengths are. And then first and foremost, and then there's a side note of uh, where you are uncertain right? The uncertainty of something, which is wise, right? You want to know when those feelings come in, right? That's how you actually create more. And I see this is how you win. And then from there, you go from the Queen of Pentacles to the Strength card, right? And then here's you, clear-minded Aquarius, right? You get all the way out of those swords. They're giving, you get out of your own way is pretty much what happens. Uh, seriously, what are you doing creatively right now, too? And there is a lesson with Leo. I see Capricorn, Virgo. Taurus, Scorpio. What was the biggest revelation? What's the biggest like revelation you've had recently about yourself as an individual? Because this is what connects you to the tribe, right? Again, one must know themselves. What do they say? You know thyself and then adorn thyself accordingly, right? And maybe where is it that you need to be like a little bit harsher on yourself? Almost like, I heard, almost like a daddy. You know what I mean? Where you're kind of like, I see, not the bitchy mom. It's, it's the, well, I heard, yes, sir. Like, but what it does is like shifts it into being like, okay, I have to, there we go. Yeah. And it's like, cause you know what? You're the only one that you don't want anybody else to talk to you like that. Right. And so therefore, I guess you got to talk to yourself like this sometimes. This could help you, you know, and of course, I always feel like Aquarius needs, even though the energy just came out there, but I always feel like Aquarius needs more of to know that emotional, like to feel good about yourself and your connections to other people and not having those just be heady, but also like emotionally sharing with others, right? Intimacy is important too, right? Um, but your own stubbornness, this kind of energy, you, you may need to, there we go. Yeah, you may need to like, I don't know, figure out different means of like working this out so that you can so that you can period
Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Strength card. Will you play a, there's some sort of prominent um, example here of someone, like the strength of someone, the um, responsibility and care that is put into something. There's a lot of love here too. And again, what's on the other side of the rainbow? Maybe it's one of those things where like you finally, at some point, it's, you'll, you'll come to the place where both ends of the rainbow are good. Do you know what I mean? And I guess that's a way for you to look at what you're creating now too. You know, because thoughts are a bridge. Conversations are bridges. Feelings are what go under the bridge. <laughs> I love you, Aquarius. How are you giving of your time? What are you doing, again, I see creatively? Um, and I see if there is anything emotionally that you're working through that that's a little confusing we'll give that a little bit of time I actually see to wait until uh, well January gave you something right it's like a seed. And I guess now you have an opportunity to look at that and see what you want to do with that. And how does this like kind of connect to the whole also? Do you know what I mean? But these are small steps. You know. And this goes back into again like what people believe in it really makes a difference. That's what that's what makes up the tribe you know that's what makes up the group is what people believe in right i believe in this i believe in that i mean i i don't feel like that needs to necessarily make it separate but it does in a certain way you know so that's the end i love you aquarius uh if it is your birthday happiest birthday I do thank you for your time and um, happy new year, happy lunar new year too. And I'll talk to you next time. Peace.